In this video, I will discuss MySQL foreign key constraints. What is foreign key constraints? For example, we create a table, users table. We have users ID, this is a primary key here. We have username, primary key. This is called parent table, this is parent table. So I create another table, pictures here. Create table. I have a picture ID. This is the primary key. I have another user ID. This user ID is a foreign key in this one related to user ID in the users. So I define claim this is the called foreign key user ID. This is a user foreign ID. Okay. Reference users user user id this is a users user table this is the user id column in the users table so i put the name called constraint fk pictures you can define any name here the reason is you want to put the name here so when you future when you want to you can drop this foreign key you just use this name you want to just drop phone in the key, you just use this constraints name. So what is the on delay cascade on update cascade? What does it mean? Normally we have four options here. Called restrict cascade set now or no action. This on delay means when the parent table is deleted or this on the parent table is updated. The parent table here is the users. When the user's ID is updated or deleted. So what happened for this child table pictures? Shall we also delete this one user ID in this the child table? Or shall we update it? Shall we give a complaint? So there's options. The options case 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 means when the parents is Deleted or updated the child. This is the foreign key is automatically deleted or updated. The set note means the foreign key table is set out when this the parents table is deleted or updated so is set out. Another option is restrict means the you cannot delete or update operation in the parents table restrict. No action is almost the same as the restrict. Here, so in my tables, I said on delayed cascade, on update cascade means when the here this is changed, parent table is changed, user ID change, I also change accordingly when the delayed action or update action. Okay, let's look at the PHP my admin to see how this is working. So I create these two table users, pictures as we define. So pictures you can see here where picture ID primary key, user ID is foreign key. You can use this is under a structure here. This under structure. When you create these pictures, you create structure, you can see this structure here. Then you look at relation view, check this relation view. You can see here, picture ID is uh, uh, this is the prim primary key. User ID you can see here. On delete select is the cascade. On update select is cascade. This is the foreign key here, based on the user user ID. You can see the four options: set now, this set now when updated. Then no actions, restrict. This also four. You can save these operations. So we have uh, already insert user ID here, user table 102. Then picture ID select 101 should be fine, but this should be failed because re user ID is not in this user's ID here, parent table. Let's go to my SQL and run this one to see what happened. So you can see here the error message here. Let's run another command, drop this key, this one. Now we can. 